fans, now through the end of the season, Budweiser will be presenting the top 60 legendary moments at Dodger Stadium, as voted by you, the fans. Today, legendary moment number 15. On September 18, 2006, trailing 9-5 to with three outs left, the Dodgers mounted one of the most improbable comebacks in franchise history. John Atkins began the bottom of the ninth for the Padres, and the Dodgers promptly feasted on the Atkins diet. Jeff Kent began the historic ninth inning. And it is gone, a home run for Jeff Kent. 9-6. Four pitches later, J.D. Drew made it 9-7. And another drive to deep right center, and that is gone. What does that line do? Not go gentle into that good night. Bochy finally brought on Trevor Hoffman to face Russell Martin, who took Hoffman out on his very first pitch. Three home runs in a row. The Dodgers are back to within one. 9-8. Hoffman had never given up home runs on consecutive pitches in his career until Marlon Anderson came to the plate. Believe it or not, four consecutive home runs. 9-9. That sent the game into the 10th. After the Padres scored a run in the top half of the inning, in the bottom half, Rudy Cianez walked Kenny Lofton, and then up came Nomar. The night would become known as 4 plus 1, legendary moment number 15. And a high fly ball to left field. It is a way out and gone. The Dodgers win it 11-10. It was one of the things where, you know, you're not giving up anything, but at the same time, you kind of know with the writings on the wall and insurmountable deficit in late innings like that. And sure enough, per first one pops over the fence and okay. Second one pops, all right. And then when that third one pops, you're just like, I mean, you don't even know how to handle yourself because you're back in this ball game and things are rolling. And as you probably saw, I'm jumping around like a little kid in the dugout. Can't believe a moment like this can happen in Major League Baseball, but uh, it did, and I got to see it firsthand. And you know, when Nomar walked it off there at the end, I mean, for me, knowing where the Dodgers were, knowing where it come from, that was like one of those moments where, you know, the team, I feel like as an organization, you know, things really started turning over. And you know, it was that mentality of it doesn't matter, you know, we're going to go out there and just play Dodger baseball and, and keep going at it. It's another thing just to, to string a bunch of hits together in a row, but to, you know, have instant one-pointers that just keep, you know, plugging away at the deficit. You know, that's kind of what was special about that whole moment. Oh, unbelievable.